Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Speed Farm 101 episode here on Borderlands 2. This is the series where I take you through all the bosses in the game and show you uh, different ways and tips of how to make your farming faster for the legendary and unique weapons. So today uh, we are back and we're going to be farming this guy here, Scorch in uh, Frostburg Canyon, for his legendary weapon which is the Hellfire, which you will see popping out just now. Uh, that doesn't happen very often where I go to just do the little intro and uh, the legendary actually drops, so pretty happy at that. Anyway, I'm going to show you a few tips for making this faster. Unfortunately, there are no proper skips or ways to make this incredibly faster, but I'm just going to talk you through something that we haven't really been through yet, which is just uh, speeding up characters a little bit. So, like I said, we are in Frostburn Canyon, and uh, I'll just explain whereabouts on the map Scorch is for those of you that don't know. So he is actually down south from where you spawn into uh, Frostburn Canyon. You've got to run all the way down here through this little cave right here and then he's just on the right hand side. Um, you get him pretty early in the game so uh, you should be able to see him and he is part of a, uh, a mission obviously so you can uh, actually unlock him first before you farm him. So, uh, like I said, there are no skips. You can see by the map there are no fast travels or walkways to make uh, positioning and things like that, which we've been through before. So it is purely about the uh, the actual speeding up of characters today, which, like I said, we haven't been through yet totally. Obviously, I've shown you a good rocket jumping good Zerka um, character build to speed things up, but uh, I will show you another one today. Uh, but first, we're just going to run the actual route to scorch so like you saw you come up the hill turn back on yourself and then it is an absolute just straight run all the way there um so this is where on the map you saw the the little cross section this is the uh, the cave that i mentioned so once you get to this cave it's, you're pretty much nearly there and uh, you come out of it run a little bit forward and then he's on the right hand side um uh, which you'll see just now he spawns just there watch out this is quite a highly populated area as well so it's very easy to go down uh, but yeah let's talk about speeding up of this uh, by using character skills and things like that so pretty much every character has um, skills that will improve speed in some sort of way sometimes it has to be when your shields are depleted or you're being shot by an enemy etc but I'm just going to pick the two main today, the fastest ones, uh, and quite simple ones to actually do. Now, the first is obviously the rocket jumping on Zerka. Um, skills that you need for this are uh, things uh, like Insight, uh, but mainly Bust that can't slow down. Increases your movement speed while gun zerking. Get five points in that. That'll make things quicker. Like I said, Insight will um, increase your movement speed when taking damage from enemies. And last longer will also help as well because it increases your dur uh, gun zerking duration speed. Um, obviously, you've got your batter booms to rocket jump with as well. Uh, and also, you want uh, things to speed up your character. Class mods, things like that, that will go into making the skills faster. Um, so, uh, we've been through a major setup on the very first episode, on the setup episode. Um, of the rocket jumping on Zerka setup, but that was just a little uh, refresher right there. And uh, as you can see, you can literally just rocket jump your way all the way down there. You've increased movement speed, you've got increased jumps, so you can get over obstacles that are in your way, etc. And uh, yeah, you will be at Scorch in no time. Plus, your two North Fleets, which I highly recommend, will just uh, be there to kill Scorch quicker as well. And also, because their area of effect damage weapons, anything around him as well will die quicker so uh, you don't go down uh, there's no risk of it uh, things like that so uh, yeah that is the rocket jumping gun zerker now we'll move on to the next one uh, the character that i recommend if you're not a uh, rocket jumping gun zerker which is the siren and uh, more specifically the breakneck banshee setup siren uh, so uh, basically this is quite an easy one really um, it's basically a skill called fleet that you're going to need to uh, invest in and uh, it's right here on the motion tree uh, fleet your movement speed increases while your shields are depleted I've got 110% movement speed right there because I uh, have used a class mod that boosts fleet which is the breakneck banshee class mod which you'll see right here so that will give me 110% extra movement speed while my shields are depleted so the trouble is, how do you get your shields depleted? You use a Rough Rider shield. Um, that obviously will give you zero shield, which means that fleets will always be active. And you can see right here, 
the movement speed is massively different which will help in your farming efforts so we're going to do another run of scorch right here and uh, this was the actual run again first time run um, attempt where we got the hellfire to drop as well so uh, I was quite happy at this hellfire seemed to be dropping pretty well for me while recording this episode but uh, yeah as you can see much much quicker than the normal run and uh, it's just basically using your characters uh, skills and things like that to make things much faster uh, now the best recommendation as well is to take the rough rider off right here and switch to a B quickly and also bring plenty of SMG ammo everything went wrong on this one but uh, hey I still managed to kill them anyway so uh, yeah there you go guys like I said no big skips today in anything like that uh, but I'm glad that this has come up because it's just given us the opportunity to talk a little bit more about skills and things like that it's always good to uh, you can actually go on the skill calculator on the Borderlands um, website and things like that and uh, just go through all the characters you want to uh, have a look at and um, just choose skills right there which you uh, can actually look at so any other character just look for things like increased movement speed uh, moving faster while taking damage things like that and just get yourself um, an enemy uh, to hit you and it'll speed you up for a couple of seconds so it's all about um, character skills and things like that today which I think is uh, you know a good one to cover so that was speed farming 101 um, next episode we will stay in Frostburn Canyon I think we will do um, incinerated Clayton actually and uh, there's some mad uh, rocket jumping involved in the speed farm for him there's a couple of routes I can show you to speed this up as well so that should be a really more beneficial episode for all of you uh, rocket jumping skippers out there and things like that anyway uh, we'll have a quick overview right now of the hellfire just because uh, it was a bit mad and crazy in the area when i picked it up but there it is that is uh, the hellfire from scorch and how to get to him a little bit quicker so thank you guys for watching that was another speed farming 101 episode that was part nine scorch in frostburn canyon and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one